guys, what's going on? Greggles TV. I'm going to show you how to install Fire Stopper on your Amazon Fire TV and Fire TV Stick. The reason we have to use Fire Stopper is because Fire Starter got blocked by Amazon. And this app might get blocked in the future, but right now this is what works if you want to use uh, shortcuts on your Amazon Fire TV and not have to go find certain apps and do certain things. Now, before you get started, you want to make sure that you have Firestarter uninstalled. If you did previously have it installed and it's not working now, go all the way down to Settings, Applications, Manage Applications, and find Firestarter. Click on it and hit Uninstall. So the first thing you want to do is install ES File Explorer. So go up to Search and search ES File Explorer. Go down and select that. And then all you do is click on it and install it. Once you have it installed, hit your home button again. Go all the way down to settings. Go all the way over to system. Click on system, go over to developer options and make sure ADB debugging is on and make sure apps from unknown sources is on. Then hit your home button. Go over to ES File Explorer and open that. And then on the left hand side, make sure you expand open favorite and below that click add. And then in the path, you're going to type the following. And make sure you type it exactly like that. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.greggelstv.com slash 2016 slash 04 slash capital F on fire, capital S on stopper dot HTML. Then go to the bottom and hit next. And then where it says name, you just want to click in there. And I would just type fire, just keep it simple. And then go to the bottom and hit next. And then click on add. And then on the left hand side, if you go down, you should see fire like we just did. Click on that. It should load up my website. So you're going to click over to the left here. So you want to get your cursor over there where it says click here to download and install file. So I have it highlighted. So what I'm going to do is click on it once and it loads up my OneDrive site. Now you're going to click over there again and click on the Firestopper APK. So click that and nothing happens it looks like so what you want to do is after you are highlighted on it and you click on it, you want to press to the left and you want to work your way all the way down to this bottom part here and click on more and then click on open in browser so click that and you'll see it's going to download the APK and then just hit open file then click install And then install again and then click open and just like you had before this is like the fire starter again it's like a customized version called fire stopper so then you can go over here over to the settings and uh, change the background or the wallpaper ultimately what I use it for is for my home button so when I hit my home button single click it I still have it go to fire TV home you can make it go whatever you want or you can have it do nothing and then on the home button, double click application. This is where I use it to open up my Kodi app. So I press that and then it should be done at that point. There's some other stuff over here. You can check for updates. You can also do some other cool stuff in here in case you don't have Kodi installed. You can check for updates on the Firestarter. You can actually install or update Kodi and you can also in install or update SPMC. So after installing it and setting it up, I do have a slight issue. The issue is when I set my double click setting right here, I have it set up to Kodi and I've set it to other apps just to make sure it wasn't Kodi and none of them work. The double click home button doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. So I don't know what's going on with that, but single click does work. I have it set to Firestarter, but I've also tried it with Kodi and some other apps. So I'll show you. So I'll show you. I'll set it to Kodi. I'm going to hit my home button once and it loads up Kodi, which is awesome. And if I press it again to go back to home screen, it still stays in Kodi. So make sure you set your double click to something else because otherwise 
it won't work. When I double click, it always gives, brings me to my apps library, unfortunately, which is kind of weird, but it works at least. So in that regard, so just go back in here and again, set your single click to whatever you want. I have mine set to fire starter. I have two fire starters in here. I don't know if you will. The second one is the one that works for me. You can change a lot of stuff in here. So look through the settings, see if there's anything you want to want to change. Basically what I use it for is, uh, as I use it as a launcher. So when I hit the home button, uh, now I have it bringing me right into Firestarter so I can quickly and easily access my apps. Um, I can go right into Fire TV Home, which is you know this version of what you're used to, uh, or I can go into Fire TV Settings or any other app that I have installed. So this app is still a cool thing, so if you wanna install it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I put a new video out every single day, and I will see you guys down the road. Peace.